great words on the power and value of the blood around which the music of the angelic host in this fifth chapter of Revelation is gathered. The first word is redemption. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things such as silver and gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without the blood. The Torah and Injil was present in the seventh century. No, I'm asking you, in the seventh century. Is there yes, but corrupted? So he said, so it wasn't, so it wasn't there. So that's not the Torah, that's not, that's not the Torah then, is it? It's not. If I give you a corrupted Quran, is that the Quran? If I gave you a corrupted Quran, you wouldn't call it the Quran. Likewise, you shouldn't call the Torah or the Injil, the Torah and Injil if it's corrupted. That's my point. Does everyone understand my point? Does everyone understand my point? Yes or no? Or have I confused anyone? No. Ethiopian people, he don't have one as 81 book. Okay. All right. And uh, the Syriac version of the Bible also has a number of, you know, this. Okay, so let, let, let me give you a, a correlation so yeah. you'll understand why I don't think it's a good reason yeah. for you to reject the different books. Because even with, uh, you're not a Quran only, are you? You believe in the Hadiths. Yeah. yeah. And so there are, you, yeah, almost up to 42 Hadith books. Yeah, but you might just accept six. Another Muslim might accept 10, another one may accept 15, but it doesn't mean that you're divided. You all believe on the core issues of Islam, right? Oh, I'm talking about Sunnis. I, I know Shias. Quran first, Quran first, because uh, your Christian book, holy book, is a holy Bible. And our holy book is a holy Quran. And uh, let me tell you about the holy Quran. Uh, you mentioned the Sunnis and the Shias. The holy Quran anywhere, everywhere is the same. Whether you pick up the Holy Quran in North America, in South America, in Europe, in Africa, in Asia, in Australasia, in any Muslim place of worship, in a Sunni place of worship, masjid, in a Shia place of uh, worship, in a masjid, okay? In any, it's the same. Uh, like in the Bible, you have books, okay? Bible means book, and in the Bible, you have a number of books, yep. okay? Which make the complete Bible. In our Holy Quran, we have surahs. Uh, we have surahs, okay, uh, chapters, okay, and in our Holy Quran, uh, you pick up anywhere in the world, in a public library, in a Muslim place of worship, anywhere, 114 surahs, okay. chapters, everywhere. Okay. Another thing, the Holy Quran is the only book in the world which is memorized, memorized by millions of Muslims. Okay. Old, yeah. young, Good point, yeah. men, women. Yeah. Okay. They memorize it. Okay. Okay. And supposing they memorize at the age of uh, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and let's say they reach up to the age of 60 years, 70 years. Can I respond though? Can it I? is the same. But can I respond? Yeah, go on. I don't think you making a claim that you only have one Quran helps your case because it is heretical normally to be a Quran only. So it means you have to sum supplement your Quran with other books for you to establish your deen. Would you agree? The Holy Quran is our holy book. All right? Okay. There's no other substitute. As Muslims, we believe in four books of Revelation. All right? The previous ones are uh, the previous book, okay? Uh, like the Torah given to the Prophet Musa, Moses, peace be upon him, okay? Or the Zabur, the Zams given to the Prophet Dawood, David, peace be upon him, and the Injil given to the Prophet Isa, Jesus, peace be upon him, and the Holy Quran, which is the fourth and final revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, to the creation, okay? All right? And the Holy Quran is the same as it was revealed. Okay. Well, okay. no, I, I disagree this with you. Let, can, me, let me just say. I can. This, let me just say. 100% refute that. But let me let on. me just say. In your Christian uh, calendar, it is the year 2022. Okay. In our uh, Islamic calendar, it is the year 1444. Ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And 
Uh, which Christian are you? Are you a Catholic Christian? No, no, no let's do one uh, thing at a time. One thing at a time. So you I made the claim. No, no, because I don't want to go on a monologue. I want to. People want to hear dialogue. You know, you know. There's no point you just talking and I'm listening. Yeah, you, let's have a dialogue. So you, you made the claim. Talking. You made the claim that you believe in the Injil, the Zabur, yeah. and the Torah. Yeah. How do you define these books? What's your understanding of the Torah? There are a lot of contradictions in them. No, I'm saying from a Muslim. The Muslim mentioned the Torah, right? It's in your Quran. So let me speak now. Okay. There are a lot of contradictions in them. In when? In what? Lot of in the Old Testament. No, that's not why. That's not the question I asked. Well, which question you asked? Listen, what's your what's the Islamic understanding of the Torah? So that's what I'm telling you now. You're, you're talking about the no, Old Testament. He, he was a real do you do you want Thank me you. to answer? No, no, but yeah, that makes sense. But what you're saying doesn't make sense. So do you want me to answer? Okay, so yeah, as long as you're answering the question, yeah. Okay, so let me answer. Okay. The previous books, the Torah. Yeah. What is it? The Zans. What is it? What is the Torah? Can I finish? Okay. The Torah revealed to the Prophet Musa, Moses, peace be upon okay. him. The Zans, Zabur, revealed to the Prophet Daud, David, peace be upon him. And the Injil, Gospel revealed to the Prophet Isa, Islam. Okay? And the Holy Quran, which was revealed to the last and the greatest of all the prophets, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay? Now, yeah. The previous books, which is the Torah, the Zabur, Zams, and the Gospel, the Injil given to the Prophet Isa, Islam, Jesus, peace be upon him. Yeah. There are a lot of changes, a lot of contradictions. Okay. Can I just stop you there quickly? Yeah, you want to stop me? No, no, because you're, you're going off topic. Well, what so, you off topic? No, no, let me just, because the Quran emphatically says, well, according to your hadiths and even your Quran, that the Torah and the Injil was present at the time of Muhammad. Do you accept that? Look, they were there, yes. but there was a need for a final message. Okay. So they were there final in the 7th century. Do you accept that? Yeah, they were there. In the 7th century? Yeah, of course. Okay. It's mentioned in our holy Quran. All right, thank you. You're the most consistent Muslims because yeah. most okay. Muslims don't accept that. Okay. What do you mean Muslims don't accept that? No, because every time I say this, they say no. They won't accept it. No, the previous books we have, there are four books. No, they, they believe, but they don't agree but that they were here, present. So okay, yeah. word, they okay. don't agree that okay. they were present in the seventh century. No, I can't believe that. Well, what you are okay. saying. Do you, are you a Muslim? Yeah, I'm a Do Muslim. you accept that the Torah are you and Injil. No, no, I'm just, I'm going to just yeah, yeah. do a quick, just a quick synopsis. Do you believe the Torah and Injil was present in the seventh century? Was corrupted that time. No, I'm asking you in the seventh century. He's saying the yes, uh, but corrupted. corrupted. So he says so it wasn't. So it wasn't then. It was corrupted. So that's not, the to, that's not that's not that's yes. not the Quran, is it? Predicted. Yeah. It's not. Yes. 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 If I give you a, a corrupted Quran, is that the Quran? Show me a corrupted Quran. No, I'm just saying. For example. No, no, no. Where will you? Thank you. So you, you wouldn't you call. So listen to my point. I agree with you. So if I if I wrote corruption in your Quran yeah. and say this is the Quran. How I'm gonna make. I'm gonna. I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna Will learn. you be able to write Arabic? No, no. But let's just, just for no, example. No, you say if you wrote. Just follow so my argument. My follow my argument. It's very simple. Look, excuse me. I'm old enough to be your grandfather. Cha cha. So not cha -cha. only talk me, you listen to me as well. No, but listen. I want to engage when the audience you, as yes. well. Yes. Okay. When you said if you wrote the Quran. Yes. Now I ask you. Will you write it in Arabic? Okay, for example, somebody... You don't even know Arabic. No, just listen How to my point. How do you write it? Let's speak, I'm speaking hypothetical, right? Everybody understands I'm speaking hypothetically. So if I wrote some Quran and some corruption, would you call that the Quran, yes or no? Okay, it will be found out. No, no but it wouldn't be the Quran, right? You wouldn't call it the Quran. Okay, it will be found out. I agree. And you wouldn't corrupted. call it the Quran, right? No, it wouldn't be the original. Holy you wouldn't Quran. call it the Quran, would you? No, because Thank you, you. Would have changed it. Thank you. Yeah. So you're, you're making a claim that you're saying. Now you're talking to him. No, because I'm just responding to his claim. Either talk to him or talk to me. Okay. But he said something different to you. Who said? He did. He never. You he are did. lying. Okay. On Look. camera, you are lying. Okay, so I'm going to make my point why he said something different. You made the claim yeah. that it was in his pristine. Uh, uh, the Torah and the Injil existed in the 7th century. He made the claim that it was corrupted in the 7th century. It was. Oh, so now you're saying it wasn't there? 
What do you mean it wasn't there? I didn't say it wasn't there. I said it was corrupted. But then according to That's your own... Okay, so listen, no. So according to your own standard, you wouldn't call it the Torah. Because if it's corrupted, you wouldn't call it the Torah. Like you said, it was listen, Torah. listen. No, no, listen to my point. If I gave you a corrupted Quran, okay. please. I'm if a I, professor. Please, just, just listen to my point, yeah? Go on. If I gave Go you a... yourself. No, if I gave you a corrupted Quran, yeah. you wouldn't call it the Quran. Likewise, you shouldn't call the Torah or the Injil, the Torah and Injil, if it's corrupted. That's my point. Okay. Does everyone understand my point? Okay. Excuse me. Does everyone understand my point? Yes Ex or no? Excuse me. Or have I confused anyone? Excuse me. No, I'm just saying. Un Uncle, did you understand can my I point? I ask you something. Okay. Are you a preacher? I'm not a preacher, no. If you are not a preacher, you don't even know everything in your Bible, do you? Whether I do or don't, it's irrelevant. I'm asking, what do you mean? No, we're okay. talking about the Torah and Injil. Whether the Holy Quran is relevant from the beginning to the end. Okay. Is your Bible relevant? Don't the change the goalpost. Can I speak? Yeah, but we're talking about the Torah and Injil. You brought up the Torah and Injil, not me. So that's where I want to stick you. You wanted to speak to me? Of course, no problem. So only you speak me, I can't speak. No, but that's what we're talking about. So do not okay, change so the goalpost. Let me speak. Okay, go on. Because you're not a professor, are you? No, no, I'm listening. Okay, I know your Bible more than you. I'm not boasting. Yeah, probably do. Okay, no worries. You understand? Yeah, no problem. Okay. So the Jews read the Old Testament, yes? Yeah, they read the Old Testament, yeah. In the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, it's in every Christian Bible. But please in stick the to the topic, please, please, please. Am I going off topic? I think you are, I think you are. How? Because we're talking about the Torah and Injil in the 7th I'm century. I'm talking about the Torah, Book okay. of Deuteronomy, so Torah. listen, my point is in the 7th century. I want to establish, of, I want to establish of, an historical fact and then we can go me. to our Old Testament and New Testament, no problem. You're just like any other Christian, aren't you? Listen, okay, I'm, I'm trying to establish a fact here. Yeah. And the simple fact I'm asking you yeah. was the Torah and Angel uncorrupted at the 7th century, yes or no? When I just started talking, brother Jazakallah, when I was just talking, why did you stop me? Okay, because that's the question I'm asking. Don't stop me. Okay, as long as you answer that question. I am. You want to drink? Go ahead. In every Christian Bible, in the Jewish Torah, look at him. I say in every Christian Bible, and he's doing this. In every Christian Bible, in the Old Testament. And what is the Old Testament? It is from the Torah as well. In every Christian Bible, in the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 4, Musa al-Islam, Moses, says to the people, speaks to the people. What does he say? Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Have you heard that? But you, you are scared of your Quran because you don't no, want to defend your Quran. Your so then answer the question. Everybody okay. heard the question. Okay. Did everyone hear the question? Second book of Samuel. Did, everyone, did you hear the question? Was the Torah and Injil corrupted? He says yes. The seventh century. He says, okay, and I'm saying prove it. Prove it, he should be able to prove it, yeah? He's, not educated. he's making a claim. He know how to if, listen, he's made a claim. He should be able to prove it, right? Easy. Do you know that in the Quran it says uh, Baba. it mentions the Bible and the Torah though? You know? you know, listen to my point. He's made the claim it's corrupted. So you are too speaking. No, now. Baba. Okay, so listen. No, no, listen to, to my speak. point. No, just quickly. So you know what I mean? Let, no, we need someone to mediate what because you What do you mean mediate? Listen, I've asked him a question. I asked you, have you got a Bible? And I said to him, is it corrupted or incorrupted? He said he could prove it from the Quran it's corrupted. Let, let, let. So let him prove it, but he's going to Samuel. So what? Is, it, is Samuel Ashtubi, in the Quran? Ashtubi, do you believe in your Bible? Is Samuel in the Quran? Excuse me. Do you believe in your Bible? I said to him, yeah. was the Torah and Injil corrupted in the seventh century? So Simple much question. Ignorance from you, Christian. Why is he going to the Bible? Why? Somebody help me out. Is there something that I'm asking that's like, are you understanding Bible, my question? Yes or no? Do you understand my question? Is your Bible? Do you understand my question? Is he answering my question, yes or no? Be honest. Is he answering my question? Is he answering my question? Thank you. Answer the question, simple. So I'm not answering his question. Okay, I'll answer it, I'll be quiet. Okay, thank you. You shouldn't be going to the Bible. Well, why not? Because that's not the context of the question. Is the Bible a no-go book? Tell me, speakers, for now, where it is written, I cannot go to the Bible. You're a Christian. 
you say you believe the Bible. So why are you scared of me giving examples from your Bible? It's not going to help your claim. Uh, you said to me. No, you said to me. You said to me. You can prove. You said to me. You can prove. You can prove from the Quran that the Torah and Angel was corrupted in the seventh century. I can prove that it wasn't. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. I can prove from the Quran it wasn't. He says he can prove that he can. So look, I've laid down the ball. Let answer the question. Simple. Thank you. Don't go to the Bible, love your Quran and stick to your Quran. Okay, if you go to the Bible, that means you love the Bible more than the Quran. So stick to the Quran. Yes. Okay, so listen. Okay, I'll, sorry, I'll be quiet. You heard the question, I'm going to keep quiet. start answering, he start talking again. So maybe your education level is not very high. My video, my video. So just be okay. quiet, listen. <laughs> He's a Christian. So as a Christian, they believe in the Bible. So if I want to give an example from the Bible, he should not make a fuss. He should not is cry. Is he should be happy is my question? that a Muslim is giving example from his Bible. Okay. In the second book of Samuel, in every Christian Bible, can you hold this for me? In the Old Testament, yeah, yeah. chapter 10. He obviously loved the Bible more than the Quran. He's still talking. Sorry, my feet, you're my feet. In the second book of Samuel, chapter 10, verse 18, it says, And David, the prophet, King David, and David killed 700 charioteers, soldiers who fought in chariots. Not that David himself killed, David and his army, they killed a total number of how many charioteers? 700. In the second book of Samuel, chapter 10, verse 18. But in a different book in the Christian Bible, in the Old Testament, in the first book of Chronicle, chapter 19, verse 18, talking about the same battle, about the same casualties, it says, and David killed seven thousand charioteers. So tell me, did David and his army kill 700 charioteers as mentioned in the second book of Samuel, chapter 10, verse 18, or did David and his army in the same Bible, in the first book of Chronicles, in a different book, in the in the first book of Chronicles, chapter 19, verse 18. Okay. Answer my question. Can I respond? Yeah. How many got killed? Can I respond? Seven hundred or okay. seven thousand? So can I respond? Yeah. Okay. So firstly, did he answer my question? Yes or no? Uh, did he? Did answer he? My question? And second of all, he just refuted himself because when I asked you, what's your understanding of the Torah? What did you say? The revelation given to Moses was Samuel given to Moses. So why have you gone to Samuel? Shows you, you're not even listening to the argument. Why do you have Samuel in your Bible? Did, listen, he Why? said, listen, listen Answer to the, the He said the Torah, the Torah was given to Moses. He doesn't love his Bible. Samuel was not given to Moses. So why are you bringing up Samuel? It's not helping your case. Is Sam you're showing your ignorance. Listen, uncle. No, you're being ignorant, okay, so right? I, I don't want to disrespect you. Yeah, you're my, my oldest. Question, listen, man. listen Answer. to my point. Listen, Is this has it, be honest, Bible? has he answered my question? He has. The Torah and Injil. Ask him, ask him if any Christians believe Samuel is the Torah or the Injil. No, we're talking about the Torah and the Injil. Torah given to Moses are the first five books. Yeah, it's not Samuel. Okay, excuse me. So listen, so he's not answered the question. And two, I said to him, I can prove to him in the seventh century, the Torah and the Injil was uncorrupted. He said it's been corrupted. Prove it. Let's see who's right. He's Simple. not even educated in his own Bible. Thank you. How can he prove from our holy Okay, Bible? no worries. His education level is not very high. You've heard what I've said, right? It doesn't and he has, has he anyone, be honest, if you, lift up your hands if he's actually answered the question. Uh -huh. So he wants you to pick what up your hands now. He's the boss. He said the Torah 
was given to Moses. Yeah. The angel was given to Jesus. He's talking with you. And he's going to Samuel to prove yeah, to prove what? So why did you, you ask him who was giving to what? I said to him, I can prove to him uh, yeah. the Torah and the angel was uncorrupted in the seventh century. Yeah. He said it was corrupted. I said I can prove from his Quran and his hadith. Yeah. That, that's not the case. He said he can prove that it's corrupted. And I'm saying, prove to me from your Quran that the Torah and Injil is corrupted. Simple. I'll give another example Simple. of the mistakes, the contradictions in the Bible. How many sons did Benjamin have? Who is Benjamin? He's one of on, the sons who's your uncle, man? Your of Jacob. Talk to him, please. One of the sons of Yaqub. Okay? Yeah. Now, Benjamin was the brother of the prophet Yusuf Joseph. They are the same father, Yaqub, Jacob, and they are the same mother. So, how many sons did Benjamin or Benjamin have, according to the Christian Bible? Okay. In the first book of Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 6, it says, Benjamin had three sons. How many? Three. What are their names? Number one, Dala. Number two, Zakar. Number three, Jadiyai. Three sons. In the first book of Chronicles, Chapter 7, verse 6. But in the same book, in the same book, first book of Chronicles, but next chapter, chapter 8. So in the first book of Chronicles, chapter 8, verse 1, it says, Benjamin. The son of Jacob, Benjamin, the brother of Joseph, Yusuf, he had five sons. What were their names? Dala, Ashbel, Ahara, Noha, Rafa. Five sons. So Bella is mentioned in the previous chapters, chapter 7, verse 6. Same book. Which is not the Torah, by the way. Just to let you know. It's your Bible. It's not the Torah, by it's the way. It's your Bible. We're talking about the Torah and Injil, right? Abbe, be quiet. You're scared of your Bible. Be quiet then. Okay. Ashbel is not mentioned in chapter 7. But here in chapter 8, Ashbel is mentioned. Ahara is not mentioned in chapter 7. But in chapter 8, he's mentioned as the son of Benjamin. Noha is not mentioned in chapter 7, but in chapter 8 is mentioned. Rafa is mentioned in chapter 8, but not in chapter 7. So, so much confusion. And let me give you, it doesn't end there. Third example, in the very first book in every Christian Bible, in the book of Genesis, chapter 46, verse 21, it says, Benjamin had 10 sons, not three, not five, but 10. Let me give you their names. Number one, Bella. Number two, Bakal. Number three, Ashbel. Number three, Jira. Number five, Naman. Number six, Ahi. Number seven, Rosh. Number eight, Mopim. Number nine, Hopim. Number ten, Arz. Okay, okay. So you proved that you love the Bible more than your own Quran. Yeah. Did I prove yes, it? Yes, yes, because I did say to you, I if you love the Bible more than your Quran, I know then your Bible as you'll as go well. to the Bible. So my point is... Uh, okay, you answer my question. Okay, no, 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 listen. Knockout question. Listen, no, no, listen. Answer me. Listen. How many sons did Benjamin <laughs> have? Listen. Three, 
five Listen, or ten. Notice he's trying to I'm get out of the debate because he can't no, refute no, no, my arguments. No, Simple. My we started about talking about the Torah and Injil. So and you're going to Samuel, you're going to Chronicles. Answer, it's your Bible. Listen. Bible is lie. You keep Torah is lie. Okay, you keep on. Quran is true. Is Excuse me. Quran is true. Okay, okay. It's lie. Okay, there was the no Torah for a thousand years. There was no Bible for 400 years. Keep on. Brother, brother, brother. You have no knowledge, brother. <laughs> you learn knowledge from me. Don't call me brother, you're not even a Muslim. Alright, I call you sister. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear your glasses, do I look like a sister? You yeah, have no man. knowledge, you must learn from me. You're a big one, learn from you. Yes. You don't even know I am saving rich. the world. You're saving the world? Oh, yes. You can't save yourself. Bullshit. <laughs> you're lying. Hey, keep your mouth clean. This is the and best part of the debate so far. Clean. Yes. Yeah. Me. Don't mess about with me. <laughs> I'm not real to me. Uh, you're In very chapter dirty, 12, uh, you want verse to go to 96, you want to go to Allah God. said, you have knowledge from Allah. Go to hospital. I have knowledge from Allah. Go to hospital. Uh, Torah and Bible problem. is a lie. Okay. Muslim copy. Okay. From, Answer from my question. Hey, be quiet. But these are lies copied from uh, Torah and from Bible. Time. Okay. So answer my question. Okay. First book of Chronicles, chapter seven, verse six, three sons. Second book of first book of Chronicles, chapter eight, verse one, five sons. What is true? Did Benjamin have three sons or five? Okay, so you, you don't want to answer the question, no? I'm asking. Has he answer answered my question? Be honest. Answer this one. Be fair. Has he answered my question? Okay. Even for arguments, oh, even for arguments' sake, ask him. Is Chronicles the Torah? Ask him. Is it in ask your him. Bible? Is it the Torah? Yes or no? Is it in your Bible? What did you say was the Torah? Okay, I'll go back to the Torah. What did you say was the Torah? I'll go back to the Torah. No, no. So let's stick to the debate. You know what? The reason okay, why quiet. this is Islam for you. Uh, it can attack, but it can't defend. Any time you ask them a question. What did Jomo Kenyatta say? Jomo Kenyatta, the famous independence leader of Kenya. He said the missionaries, the Europeans, they gave you the Bible and took over your countries. Okay. That's what they did. Okay. And you know what the Arabs, you know what the Arabs did to Africa? Yeah, they took them and then castrated them. So you think that's uh -huh. better, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's, his, that's Arab history, but I'm not going to deviate because he wants to get out of this uh, of the subject. Okay, no, you're right. no, no, I'm not okay. going to deviate. Tell me, no, no, tell me not deviate. How okay. How many sons deviate. did Benjamin have? Listen, three or five. Everybody heard me or ask ten. him the question, and he made a claim. He made the claim that the Torah and the Injil was corrupted according to the Quran. Did he not say that? And I asked him to prove it because I can prove otherwise. Why is he running to Chronicles? Huh? No, no, but he wants to. He says he can prove that it's been preserved. Okay, it wasn't preserved, or whatever. Here, so you have not answered this one. Why? Because you're changing subjects. No, why can't you answer? Because you're changing subjects. How many sons? And why are you changing subjects? Have? Because you can't answer Bible. the question. Are you a Christian? Listen. So it's in your Bible. Do not deviate. Tell us, tell us three. What was the subject of, of this debate? Five sons of Benjamin or ten? What was the subject of this debate? Look at he, this. He answered my question. Answer the question. Do you think? Answer. One. Listen. We're talking about the. We're talking about the. The Torah. The, the Quran. We're talking about the Quran. We're talking about the Quran, right? That wasn't your question. No. He he says it was corrupted in the seventh century, and he can prove it from the Quran. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. He can prove it. From the yeah, Quran. So I said to you, prove it from the Quran. Answer. And second of all, what he's gone to Why is not the Torah. So us. it doesn't help his case. Tell us. Either way. Tell us. Three oh, sons, five sons. So listen, answer. even for argument's sake, it was corrupted. The fact that the Quran confirms a corrupted book shows Muhammad wasn't a prophet. He was a prophet, so be quiet. Answer this one. Okay, Don't insert. How many? Yeah. 
that he said the Quran is, I mean, the Bible is corrupt. So if you said Bible is corrupt, what do you want to drive out of it? I'm going to show him from his own Quran that it wasn't yeah, corrupted. Yeah, answer answer this one. That it wasn't answer corrupt. Answer answer this one. Said, like so, so would you want me to say that again? Uh, yeah. When, if you accept that he said the Bible is corrupt, okay. right? Okay. You cannot answer this one. Okay, so can I show you from the Quran that it wasn't corrupted, yeah? Answer this no, one. can I show you? From, Please, you've gone to your Bible. Answer. I can go to the Quran. That's fair, right? Doesn't matter. That's fair. Oh, no, the Quran, okay. Do you read the Holy Quran? Can anybody read out of it? Is no. your Bible the book of God? No. So if I show you from your Quran that it wasn't corrupted, then what? You need a mental psychiatrist. You know what? You don't want to answer the question. Listen. This is no, 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 no. This is what they do when they can't. No, no. When no, no. Don't worry. This is what they do. Because they can't answer the question. Why are you telling me his mental? Uh, because he can't answer the question. Because he I'm can't not answer. A I don't have to be a Muslim. I can teach you. If you are not a Muslim, I don't have to be a Muslim. Are teach you more. Are you educated? Yeah, to teach you more. Are you educated? No, I'm not. You know what? He's trying to get. He's trying to get out of the debate. He's trying to get out of the debate. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not educated, but I know when someone abuses. Don't worry. 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 You sit in your phone. Let the preacher you speak. Manna, you don't call him being mental. Okay, who are you? Yeah, this is cool, yeah. Answer. You show that you're very foolish. Verse 75. Yeah, yeah, that says, woe unto them who write a book, pitch in the Torah or the Injury. It doesn't. Okay, sure. Behave sure. yourself. Yes, sir. Behave yourself. Uncle, you're, you've got help. Behave yourself. No, 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 help him. Okay, help him. No, no, you need to help him, brother. I want to listen to a doctor. What's uncle? Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. No, 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 you don't, 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 don't need to refer to him as mental. You have this Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not offended, don't worry. I'm not offended, I'm not offended. Don't worry. God bless you. No, no, no. God bless you, don't worry. You're not even a Christian. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, in the bucket, it's Torah. In the bucket, but that's not in the Quran, right? You accept that, yeah? It's not. It doesn't say Torah in the Arabic, does it? It doesn't, does it? You admit, yeah? My own country. It's in the buckets, right? Okay, Mister. Yeah, but it doesn't say Torah, does it? Mister. It's in the buckets, meaning it's not in the I've started in the original. Am I stupid? He's on YouTube. He runs away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm scared of this. This is why I'm scared of Islam, you know. Muslim debaters, they okay. scare me to death. Look okay, at them. Yeah. Sons of Benjamin. Okay. How so many, you can answer the question, yeah. How many sons of Benjamin? Who? Three, five, or ten? And you can answer the question, yes how or no? How many? You can answer the question. How many? You can answer the question, yes or no? Oh, look at me. How long? How long has this debate been going how on? Many? I've asked him one simple question, and he can't answer it. Sorry, bro. Because, because Islam is away. bankrupt. It has no answers. It cannot defend itself. All it can do is attack, attack, attack. Yeah, yeah, and you can't defend. Oh, I, that's all I do, I How defend. How many sons of Benjamin? Listen. How many? Answer How my many? question and I'll answer How every many? question. How many? Just answer my one How question. How many sons of Benjamin? Answer my one question and I'll those. answer. No, you haven't. How many? Prove to me from your Quran that the Torah and Injil is corrupted. Simple. I'll give you another example. Simple. I'll give you another example. Okay, Muslims. Help him out, because he obviously doesn't know. No, he said if he asked one okay. from the Quran. If you go to the Bible, listen, if he goes to the Bible, he loves the Bible more than his Quran. I love the Holy Quran. So if he goes to the Bible, everybody, every Muslim know, know that he loves the Bible more than the Quran. Okay. Okay, go on, let's, let's hear it. Okay. Let's see. I'll give him another example. Go on, let's hear it. From the Torah. Which is also in every Christian Bible. Okay, what's the Torah? In the book of Deuteronomy. He goes to the Bible again. My point exactly. Book of Deuteronomy. You don't even love your own Quran. You can't even debate your own Quran. Book of Deuteronomy is. In All the you Torah. do is come and attack the Bible. Uh, Defend your Quran. What's wrong with you? I Defend am. your honor. I am. Defending your honor is not attacking somebody else. Are you it's defending your own faith. Are you crying? Love your Quran. Love your prophet Will by you? defending him that's why and I defending your Quran. That's why so prove to me from your Quran. Simple. You said that you can prove that the Quran says. Yeah, but he's making it. Yeah, of course I can. Yeah. Two seventy nine. Okay, show me where it says the Torah in Jill. Of course it does. Are you Christian? Yeah, I'm a Christian. Say that again. 
in the Bible it says Jesus follows okay. the Christians. Okay, so for example, let's just let's, let's say... Show me the word. The no, word. no, it yeah, it does, it does say it. Do you want, do you want me to show you? Christian. Yeah, yeah, Christian was there. No, no, do you want, do you want, I can show you. It's in the book of Acts. They were called Christians at Antioch. So, in the time of Jesus. You didn't say at the time of Jesus, you said that... You saw, ask me. So, and what's your point? Point that now you guys are followers of Jesus. Yeah, because they were called so Christians hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, after Jesus, Jesus they were, ascended from his crucifixion. Yes. No, not of course not. And not now at the time you guys of are called Christian and you're followers of Jesus. That my point of saying is you, you look for one word, but you know yourself in the Quran. When it talks about the book, it's talking about the Torah and Jesus. No, that's standard. No, not at all. No, it's not. That. No, it's not. So, you have to go okay, so if, it's, if that's the case, if that's the case, why did he go to the book of Chronicles? I get why he done what? No, I'm asking you. I'm because, that, no, listen. You know no, no, no. Because you know. Now, if you're being deceptive. No, no, no. Let me, let me tell you why I'm not being deceptive. Well, I'm not here to debate anyway, but what I'm saying is that you know the verse that that the other brother referred to that's referring to the the Injil and the no, Torah no. and you can say the word Torah isn't in there it's in yep. brackets you're right but that's referring to those books what, what other books okay what books are you referring to it could be talking about the first king second kings chronicles well, songs of solomon so how do it we know be talking about how do we know what it's talking about thank you yeah we go to the explanation where's and the explanation it doesn't say Torah and Injil no well, the, 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 the Quran give me a hadith i give you a hadith i can give you a hadith well, I'm not here to debate, no, I'm no. what i'm just, saying is i'm just saying it's there you're being no i can give you a hadith that refutes your case okay so what if i give you a hadith where muhammad claimed that the Torah and Injil was with the Christians and the Jews. Then what? And it doesn't say I'm that the Torah and Injil was corrupted. About, I'm just asking questions about the book. Yeah, go on. You know that that verse, there's loads of verses in there. The yes. Book. Yes. The books that I'm referring to is the Torah and the, the book okay. of the Christians. So and you're the Jews. telling me, That's what I'm you're telling me Muhammad only thought that the, the, the Jews had five books. But are you saying the Quran says it's preserved? Is that what you're saying? Of course it does. How can you even say that? So that's, you know what? You so know you're what? saying the Quran saying that those books are preserved. So read uh, 546. Okay, read 546. Okay, read Surah 546. Okay, read 546. You're trying to score a point. What does read it say in English? What does it say in English? You have a conversation, but don't be, you know, you're but trying to score a point. Well, he can say, I'm not, I don't want to have a discussion about it, but I'm just saying, he thinks that the Quran says that the Bible and the Injil are preserved. Mashallah. If that was the case, if that was the case, if it was so easy, why did my man run away? Whether he's run away or not, that's not the point. My point is, if you're saying, you're standing here having our debate that the Quran saying that the Bible and Injil are preserved. You know that's not true. You know yourself that's not true. I You're just trying to make a point. No, no, I know it's true. You know so, okay, so, okay. Honestly, you think, I'm, I'm going to surround. Listen, no, no, listen to my point. No, no Islamic expert says that. Now, Do you know who the first say, person that says that? Say, hold on, Eva, you say yeah. that Islamic, everyone who studies Islam is wrong. Yeah. No, no, no. Islamic, hold on, no Islamic person, they, 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 they person they jerk, they jerk says that the Quran says that the Indian, the books of the Christian are preserved. No, I'm not saying whether they are or not, you're separate. Whether they are or not, you're separate. I agree. I'm just asking the point that you spent an hour discussing. It's a nameless point. You know that the Quran I agree. No, I agree. That point. No, that point you made. Listen to the. Okay. Oh, bless you, boy. Anyway. I'm saying you know it doesn't say. No, no, it does say it. It does say it. But I do agree that Muslims all say it's been corrupted. And you know who the first person who said it? The first person who said it was Ibn Hazm, who was 10th century. The book that that verse that you're referring to, it says that they have changed it with their own hands. No, they not the Torah and Injil. What what was it referring to? Well, they could be talking about the Talmud. The, the experts are telling you now it's not. It's talking about the Torah and Injil. Now, because once they had it translated, hold they on, thought, hold on. Is the those books not part of Torah and Injil? No, no. First Kings are not called the Torah. It's not, it's not called. It's not called. That, that, that wasn't given to Moses, no. But the Injil is Jesus. You're the Torah and Injil. Yeah, so Injil. Yeah, you're talking about both of them. No, so we're talking about. Let's even stick to Torah. The Torah is what was revealed to Moses. I didn't say it. Even your guy said that. So even, even now, when you went to Chronicles, now, you're, you're referring to you're referring to five books. You're referring to five books. Yeah. But now in this day and age, when people say Old Testament, they they see that as the whole whole thirty three books. So that's why I said that's what to. I mean. so, so listen. So the point that you're making is the first five books of Moses. It, we don't know if that. No, was no, no. So listen to my point. Later, so this is what I know. It does because this is what I said to him. What is your definition of the Injil and the Torah? 
He's no, no, no. This. What you said to him. My point is that no, he's right. He's right. No, the reason why. If you're genuinely having a discussion, my point of saying though is that it's like me coming to you and saying to you, oh, in your Bible, they believe that Islam is the truth. It's just nonsensical. No, if no. that was the case, your Bible would then you'd be following the Quran. No. You're still trying to have an argument with him, saying your Quran believes that the books of the Jews and Christians are preserved. No. Come on, the point, like, no. The point I'm trying to make. The point. Like, I'm what, what's the point? No, this is the point. No, this is the point. My point. This is point. I'm not saying, regardless of what you're saying, I'm saying that point itself between an hour discussion with him, but an irrelevant point that you don't believe. He doesn't. I don't think. I don't think it's relevant. No one here believes it. So this is my point. I just. Muhammad, I believe at the time when he walked this earth. He honestly believed the Torah and, and let's say, let me ask you so let's say the let's say the Quran said that it's corrupted, you can believe it. It doesn't, that's my point. I'm saying let's say what? Yeah, then I will accept that but Muhammad believed be, it. Then was you wouldn't believe in the Quran, will you? No, I wouldn't believe and in the Quran. What's your point? No. You're so here, hold on, you're here after you want to seek the truth, don't you? Yeah, of course. I yeah. want to seek the truth. Yeah. Is that gonna take you to the truth? No, no, no. So you wanna know where the I truth wanna show is? you guys. Yeah. It's not for me. I wanna show oh, so you, you don't guys. Learn. You're here to show no, no, I wanna oh, if if bro, if no no, don't learn a lot from this bro. No, I'm not just I'm just here, I'll be standing for an hour and the only thing you're you're trying to make a point of and I'm saying I'm saying and I'm saying that the the uncle that you're speaking to one hour you've been asking yeah. him, oh, I've like proved to you. And all he, he had to do, himself, all he had to do. He doesn't believe in himself. No, I do believe. No, no, no listen, don't, don't, listen don't. to my belief. And listen. if you did believe, it doesn't matter. You wouldn't care. If you say someone proved it to you, what would happen? What would change okay. your life? So let, 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 let's, let, say, let's say someone proved it to you now. Okay. And what would change your life? Would you change your opinion? Then I would know Muhammad believed and that the Torah and Injil was corrupted. And you That's actually all. think, you actually read, I mean, if you ask 10 Christians, mm -hmm. Any expert, did they believe that Prophet Muhammad believed that the Torah was preserved? They would all tell you no. No, they would all say yes. If they've read the Quran in their deep. Who, who says yes? Give me an expert that says yes. Well, well, depends, one expert, one expert. depends who you call expert. James White? What? He said that the Prophet Muhammad believed that the Torah was preserved? Yes, of course. No, at, yeah, at the time, yes. Who? Of course. Who? Who? You're making it up. Who? James White. Who's James, James White? Who's he? He was a preacher, isn't it? But you're just making it up. No, I'm not making it up. I'm not making it up. Well, if I show it to you, then what? Yeah, it's a Christian prophet. So what's yeah. the cause of the I can't believe that. It's, it's, that. it's just a known thing, isn't it? Okay, so it's listen, like, listen. It's like me saying that um, no. uh, a no. King James no. believed that crime was true. No. Well, I've got an expert no, that's no, saying no, it. Obviously, no. you're not going to believe that, innit? No. Same listen way. Listen to the point I'm trying to make. This is the point. This is the point. Right. Just listen to the point. I believe Muhammad believed his revelation confirmed the Torah and Injil. He believed. Yeah, it does no, 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 no. Hold on. It listen, does me, listen, it does let's listen to my that's, point. That's different things. So what does no, it mean? But what does that mean? Yeah, though? That, what, that, what does that we mean? use the Quran yeah, as our criteria. That means it came before. Yeah, they were there. It's not there now. They were there now. It's not there now. And the way we, our criteria, to see what's right and what's wrong is the Quran. That's our revelation. That's the revelation. The Torah was lost many times. That's only preserved revelation. That's what that means. The Torah was lost many times. Can I explain my point now? Can I explain my point? Can I explain my point? The Injil was well, lost well, and, never, and, never, and never and never and never achieved again. Well, never. Heart, if you look at the religion, they're, they're just Islamic peace meaning things. things. Okay. Obviously, you're a Christian, you know, and yeah. your way is your way, and I'm gonna believe what I believe. But if you look at it as a logical person who has no knowledge, let's say we have both, no knowledge, we put, put both in front of us. Well, Islam makes okay. sense. It so, just makes sense. It, it makes it, you know your, your your human fact. It just makes sense to you. Well, you know what? Do you know why? Do you know no? Do you know why? Because you guys are disconnected from the previous revelation. That's why... No, no, we're not. You are? What's okay. No, so, okay, let me ask you something. God revealed himself to the people of Israel, yeah? How do you mean? No, no, okay. No, how, how, how? You only said he revealed himself, how? Explain he made, he made a covenant with them, yeah? No, yeah. According uh, what, to your uh, What was the covenant? That he'll give them a land and he'll give them laws. According to your belief. Go on, go on. Yeah? Go on, go on, carry on, yeah. What was the way that these people had to atone for their sins? Depends, yes. There was blood sacrifice in the olden days. What is this? Was it? Was yeah, it? Blood it, sacrifice, animal sacrifice, and, 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 also, all, and also, and also, and there was for us for forgiveness when after. Yeah, the is it? Is it? Sometimes it's Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Okay, get get Ezekiel. I'll refute your point. My point is, blood sacrifice. The Bible says. Do you believe in any way blood no, sacrifice? No, 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 what I'm saying yeah. is. It says, without blood, there is no atonement and that for makes your it true, souls. Does it? No, I'm just saying. Oh, right. I'm saying this is. So you believe in blood sacrifice? No, what, like no, pagans, no, this is not. No, this that's is not pagan. Yeah, that's that's no, what listen to my point. Them. Sorry. Without, without. The that's blood. my point. How unmerciful is God that He needs, he needs to take problem. blood sacrifice? Okay, so let, 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 let me. Hold on. Look at your. No, no, no. Examples. Look at your the God that you. You're making the human fallacy. You're You're saying that God is so merciful that He needs to sacrifice. His son, who was innocent, for you to get salvation. Okay. Look at the Islamic. No, no, no. Islamic paradigm is that 
if you if you committed a sin, you made a mistake. Okay. Ask God for forgiveness, and okay. God will forgive you through okay. His mercy. Okay. He will forgive without okay. sacrifice. Well, let, Which one of those two okay. makes logic? So let, let, let me just okay, show okay, you something. Let, so, 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 let me just say something. Let, let me respond to him. Let, let, let me respond to him. Let me just respond to him. Yeah. I'm gonna respond to him. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna okay. just quickly, quickly so, deviate. So the, so the I was speaking to a guy yeah, who was in um, Cocaine Anonymous. Have you heard of Cocaine Anonymous? Like well, Alcohol Anonymous, yeah? And basically, part, oh, listen, listen, bro, listen. I'm talking to him. I'm talking to him. So, so Cocaine Anonymous, yeah? And part of this course, they had to imagine a god of their own imagination in order to go through this course. Yeah? <laughs> And you're doing that same thing. You're saying man is the measure of all things. I'm going to conceive in my mind the God that makes sense and that's what I'm going to believe in. Let me ask you no, no, hold on, let me just make one point. We as Christians say no, we look for divine revelation. Yeah. And no man, because of what, what has been revealed in, what book? In, in obviously the Torah. And you believe that book, yeah? Yeah, of course. That came a thousand years after Moses. No that came book. after... Think about oh, it. no, 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 what was it? That came a question. thousand years after... after it was found, the, 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 the earliest manuscript is a thousand years after Moses. Let me ask you a question, bro. What if I can Man, prove that's wrong? Man, what if I can prove that's bro, wrong? That's the Christian scholar saying. You're telling no, me I'm going to prove, I'll give you... You can prove what you want. That's what the Christian... When Muslim scholars don't say, that Christian scholar say that. Where's my, where's my Forget, phone? Bro, you're going to go read your books and your quotes. You have your, 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 you know, that's what you come with. You revise all your quotes. But I'm saying, whether it's 1,000, whether it's 500, whatever... The uh, Arabs destroyed Christians. I can't find my phone. No, 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 can you bring it? How he's done people, I don't know. It might be my bag. Point is, bro, imagine how I should you write, write what, what your grandfather did. How much mistakes would you make? One yeah. second, I'm just trying to look for my phone. Oh yeah, I found it, yeah, sorry. So, yeah, well, that's fine, but you'll get your phones out and stuff. I'm not here to debate. No, no, what I'm saying, no, what I'm saying, what you said. Like you know, know there's, there's actually been a recent like, archaeological... Aimless. There's been a recent archaeological find that actually confirms that... They Funny enough, it doesn't say that. Okay, let, let me... You're going to go on Google and find some... No, 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 it's, it is, I'll what? give you a secular world's website, not even a That's Christian. That's my point, it's a website, website. So no a secular knows. that doesn't believe in, in God oh, or the Bible. What I'm saying, by Google you get yeah, anything. No, I no, no, anything I'm telling you. Google, you're going to bring something out. But I'm saying majority of Christians believe. Okay, this is Daily Mirror, yeah? This is Daily Mirror. No, no, they're not Christians. You know what? You're an No, 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 no. No, what? Are okay, daily mirror is Christian? I'm not I'm not saying they're Christian. Okay. So I'm are saying, they gonna say things bro, that's gonna support no, Christians? Like, okay, let's, uh, let's say I find somebody who's not a Muslim and supports Muslim Islamic stuff. Are you gonna believe no, it? No, I'm just your you your it? case about Moses, no evidence well, of saying, Moses bro, writing I'm the Torah. Saying, bro, I'm, saying I'm just majority, giving you evidence. Okay, what do the majority of scholars say? You know, no, this is my point. No, no, and I'm gonna show you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. Right. So before I don't want before this archaeological find, they, they no, agreed bro, with what... I'm a guy in no, no. the party talking about an archaeological find. I'm just having the majority of... Do you not want there. evidence? I'm giving you... Well, from the Daily Mirror. Is that your evidence? Okay, so listen, you, go look, no, you go look it up. But I'm not going to go look it up. Why not? Because I've already looked it up. If, no, because this your is a reason. Are, your experts are saying a thousand years, bro. His mate, what, your and you've agreed that as no, well. No, I'm saying that this archaeological find you, has so refuted you found one that. Evidence, you found one evidence from Daily Mirror. So no, Daily not Mirror Daily Mirror. Daily Mirror is reporting, is reporting so the find. the source? What do you mean the source? It was an uh, archaeological... Yeah, who, who, Archeolo who, who, uh, okay, who, 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 so I'll, I'll, get, I'll get it for you. Archaeological... Yeah, give me the source first. No, look, this is it. What, what source? I'm, I'm going to give you the source. Okay, well, okay. okay, stone tablet with curse written inside may solve... Is that the source, yeah? No, let's look. Well, give me the source first okay. before you read the whole thing okay, down so Okay, so archaeologist Dr. Scott Stripling. That's where's the source. Where's he from? Where's he from? Uh, you don't even know where he's no, from. I'm, well, I'm, I'm just reading the no, article. But, no, but you, you're telling me like you, you've, you've, you're you've hyper, you're being that. a hyper course. If you're talking, if you're bringing something to me and say, so look, there's been an archaeological find. I'm not gonna. I'll, I'll look it. Okay, look. No, you okay. You don't that would yourself, be wisdom. That would be. What? You don't even know yourself who the guy is. I'm reading it. I'm, I'm saying. The, so you know. Okay, I'm giving you the basic skeletons. Go away and do your research. I don't even know why. Look, you know that majority of scholars say a thousand years after Moses is the earliest manuscript of the Old Testament. Oh, manuscript. Yeah. Okay, no, but I thought you were saying something else. What was I saying? No, I thought you were saying that, that it wasn't written by Moses or something. No, I'm saying the earliest manuscript is a thousand year gap between Moses and the earliest manuscript of the Old Testament. No, there, there are fragments, you know, there are fragments. Oh, what, what, uh, like six, what? About uh, six, seven hundred BC. But that's not the whole... I'm, I'm no, no, but it's a fragment. But, size, like, but it shows that it existed before like, the earliest size, manuscript. That, that's the size of okay, so let me give you an example. Sahih, Sahih Bukhari, yeah. yeah? Do you know when your earliest full manuscript is? 1294. Your point being... So, you're, so you've got Muhammad, 
lived in, uh, died in 632. Yeah. Bukhari wrote it in about 200 years after. Yeah. Okay, bless you, bro. Yeah, so he wrote it about 800. And your earliest manuscript is 12. It's 400 years, 400 years after Bukhari wrote it. Do you know how the preservation of the Islamic... Uh, of the Hadith? Or any, any Islamic... I'm talking about, I'm talking about Bukhari. I'm talking about any, any, any. Yeah. The, the main preservation, the way things were preserved, was not through writing. The main preservation, even though it was done through writing, the main way it was preserved was through memory and through passing on from person to person to person. But now, for example, bro, now, if we took away all the scriptures, which scripture could we bring back? Okay. So which, even, oh, give me the which scripture okay. would you bring so back? So I could even prove... Which scripture would you bring back? No, but that's a poor what's one. The only, but I'm the reason why I'm going to call it. Question. Which, which was the only yeah, you don't memorize it now. But what, exactly. listen, my point no. is, it's not that we memorize it now. Look. It's not that we memorize it now. Is that through history, our hadith and our Quran, they've been memorized from person. Even now, bro, like I can't speak Arabic, yeah? But everyone, you go to any Muslim here, he will know a certain portion of the Quran. Well, it's not and true, not just by that, the way. you got what? I can give you, you evidence. Do that in many Muslims no. Here know Quran. So listen to the claim I'm making. Oh, I don't know. I, I said, okay, no, I said to you that you could go ask any Muslim here, and literally every single one of them, some portion of the Quran, you say it's not true. So. Okay, listen to the claim. Listen to the claim I'm making. Okay. If I'm making a claim, I should be able to back it up, right? Your early Muslim, from your early Muslim sources, they forgot whole surahs. Not where, where is it? Okay, so Sahih Muslim. Would you accept Sahih Muslim? Surahs? Yeah. So listen to what I've said. I'm backing it up the, the, the with two, Muslim. The Christians are not saying this. The two surahs of Kula of Rafalak and Nas. The two last surahs. No, no. no. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get it. What did he say? Okay, do you want to read it or do you want me to read it? No, you read it. Okay, so this is Sahih Muslim, book five, hadith number 2286. What okay. size is it? What's the side? Hadith collection. I can get it for Surah.com if you want as well. If you want to get it for Surah.com, I can. It's in Surah.com. I don't know the Hadith. No, no, I'm just saying. Like I said, I'm not here to debate. Yeah. I'm just you're saying. Gonna, you're going to read off Hadith after Hadith. I'm not what here to debate. I'm, I'm, I'm not a debater like this. It is a myth I'm just, I'm, that I'm just Muslims saying that make that we memorize the whole Quran. They, they didn't. So I'm not here to, to debate, and I'm sure if you went to someone like Shamsi or Hashim, they'll answer that for you to say. But genuine, God one day will answer that. I've asked, last time, wait, who was there when I brought this to the Sheikh? He, he gave two weak, and I said, give you your proof. Come on, he was you there when I... Oh. It's on the video, you can look it up. I'll read it, what does it say? It says, Abu Hab bin Abu al Aswad reported on the authority of his father that Abu Musa al Azri sent for the reciters of Basra. They came to him and they were 300 in number. They recited the Quran and he said, you are the best of the inhabitants of Basra, for you are for you are the reciters among them. So continue to recite it, but bear in mind that your reciting for a long time may not harden your heart, as were harden the heart of those before you. We used to recite a surah which resembled in length the severity of Surah Barat, which is Surah Tawbah. I have, however, forgotten it, with the exception of this, which I remember. If there were two valleys full of riches, for the son of Adam, he would long for a third valley and nothing would fill the stomach of the son of Adam but dust. And we used to recite a surah which resembled one in, of the surahs of Musabahat. And I have forgotten it, but remember this much out of it, O oh, people who believe, why do you say that which you do not practice? And, and that is recorded in your necks as a witness against you. And you would be asked about it on the day of resurrection. So he's saying, we used to, to understand what okay, you're saying. Yeah. You're saying the yeah. narrator of this hadith yeah. has said that I have forgotten part of the surah. Is that what you're saying? They're saying, we, yeah, we used to. And, and from that conclusion, you've drawn that the Muslim lost a surah. Is that your conclusion? I don't you? conclude. That's what the Muslims conclude. Well, you just read a hadith saying yes. uh, the narrator of the hadith. Yeah, okay. We don't know. I don't know his age at that time. So he's Muslim. Point. Okay, well, go on. I'm Sorry. not saying he didn't. Forget. Okay, go on. I don't know. I don't know the hadith. Okay. I'm, not saying, I'm not giving an explanation to this. I don't know. Okay, okay. But just based on what you read, you're saying that. That hadith is saying that certain scriptures of the Quran were lost. Yeah. That's not even what it's saying. Okay, so show it's me. A narrator, it's a narrator yeah. saying that I forgot. If that's a Sahih yeah. hadith, I don't really know. It yeah. Is, yeah. But if it is, let's assume it is, yeah. Yeah, on the basis of what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. Even if it is, that's not yeah. what it's saying. Okay, it's saying, so tell me what it's saying. Well, it's just saying the narrator is saying, yeah. I 
you've got a portion of this surah. Okay. That's what it's like okay. me saying, no me being 90 years old, no problem. and my son coming okay. to me, no and problem. I'm saying to you, yeah, when I was young, I used to remember Surah Baqarah. It's a fair, fair, it's a fair response, yeah? Hold on, okay. uh, Surah Baqarah, and now I've forgotten it. Okay, and, fair and response, I'm saying, yeah? Based on what, hold on, based on what you've just read, I'm yep. saying, okay. so you might come up with something else now. No, 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 I'm no, going to go with but, your response. But I'm saying that it's based on what you said. Yeah, no, yeah. what you said makes sense, yeah? So therefore, show me where this is in the Quran. Show you where what is in the Quran. So this is what he recites, he says, it says this, if there were two valleys full of riches for the son of Adam, he would long for a third valley. Well, read, the, enough. read it before it. Read it before okay, it, says, it says that. It says, okay, let me go back. It says, but bear in mind that your sight and for a long time may not harden your heart yeah. as will harden the heart of those before you. Yeah. We used to recite a surah which resembled in length and severity to Surah Barak, which is Surah Al-Tawbah. Yeah. I have, however, forgotten it with the exception of this, which I remember out of it. If there were two valleys full of riches for the son of Adam, he would long for a third valley and nothing would fill the stomach of the son of Adam but dust. So let's go with what you're saying. This personal guy forgot it. So therefore, oh my, my there's, there's beef man, beef, beef, yeah, beef.